to sport now, and the Cricket World Cup kicks off this week in England and Wales, but already there has been a cool reception for Steve Smith. Steve Smith says booing by English crowds is all just white noise as he prepares for Cricket's World Cup. The former captain was given a hostile reception from the Barmy Army, which won't let him forget Sandpaper Gate. The from Australia, number 49, Steve Smith. For more on this, please welcome Rampaging Roy Slavin and H.G. Nelson! <laughs> welcome back, gentlemen. Now, now, is international cricket a bit like a marriage in that it's hard to ever really forgive a cheater? Well, it isn't and isn't. To look, uh, obviously, people here in the audience, people at home know Sandpaper was involved. Yeah. The boys ducked into Bunnings in South Africa and picked up a couple of sheets and wandered out. They got the youngest member of the team to shove it down his underpants. You know, cruel japes. <laughs> Cricketers, they're not strangers to cruel japes. <laughs> uh, I think there's a million other products that could be used to tamper with a cricket ball in a Bunnings shop. Well, most, of which have, most of which have been used. All countries cheat, Charlie. All country streets. South Africans, they stamp on the ball with their studs. Uh, the subcontinental players, they bite the ball like an apple. <laughs> really? Uh, Afridi did that, yeah. <laughs> so a couple of them have been caught with that. The only team that doesn't cheat is New Zealand, but then they never win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most bowlers can look at a ball and tell it's what it's been tampered with yes. and what it's going to do. Yep. That's the other thing. That's the key, Charlie. What it's going to do when it's had the sandpaper. What it's going to do when it's got the bottle top yep. with a two-pack glue. How's it going to behave? <laughs> you know, that's all the thing. That's where the genius is. That's where Australia will come into its own. And obviously, sure. I believe it's going to win this competition quite easily. Easily. Now, I want to move on to the French Open. That is also yes. happening. Serena Williams has just won her 800th career match, yes. although the media's focus was else elsewhere. Have a look. Serena Williams unveiled another new outfit in her opening round match against Russian Vitalia Diachenko. The outfit features the French words for queen, champion, mother and goddess, and it comes a year after Roland Garros organisers banned her from wearing a black cat suit designed to help with blood clots. Is there too much talk about the outfits in tennis? Look, I think she's starting a new tradition. I, I, I love tennis players expressing themselves. And if by putting <laughs> words on yourself that tells you more about yourself, I think that's a great thing. I would like to see, like, say, Nick Kyrgios. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unstable genius. <laughs> um, and there's a bloke who expresses yeah. himself. Yeah. He's a very expressive yeah, player. That's Bernard Tomic. He just write Bernard Tomic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can hear Roy and HG on Macquarie Sport Radio during yes. the entire World Cup. Would you please thank them for coming back? Rampage and Roy Slavin and HG Nelson! Yeah.